Right, good afternoon everyone. I am sorry that I've not been around, but as you know, and I'm a little bit out of breath because I ran up the stairs. I don't know why I do it, because I should just walk. So nothing's wrong there, but uh, I have been really poorly and the parasite thing, it really did knock me off my feet. I'm still recovering from it and it's just been horrendous to be honest. But while I was um, out of action, um, as you know, many of you know, Raymond lost his sister and uh, we knew it was coming, but um, it's still a shock when it does. And, you know, he's dealing with all of that now. The other thing is, um, the everything got put on hold, as you know. And while I was off, uh, out of action I had obviously some uh, deliveries made and so I've got them all here to film at once now I'm going to go through them bit by bit so you can see and I'm just going to stand for this because I'm not sure if you can actually see everything I um, saw this on somebody else's video about he was doing miniatures and as you know I'm doing the uh, shack for Jane and Jane, I'm not going to film that today. I was going to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to film this because I need to get this all put away. But it is for the shack. And the weather's really, really hot outside. And I can't, st as I feel right now, I can't stand being out in the heat. So I'm going to wait for it to cool down a little bit before I go out. Because I the next stage is to do some resin. Um, and I'll be able to do that outside. I won't do it indoors because of the fumes and whatnot. And I need to make sure I feel 100%. So I'm just going to show you. This is part. I'm going to be using it for the shack. And it's a sculptor mould. It's modelling compound. And I did buy two, well, yeah, two bags of it. Because you do need to use quite a bit of it. And all you do is add water to it and model your you know, um, project, put it where you want it to be. It makes mountains, hills, rocks, whatever. And that's going to be fantastic for what I need. So I did buy two of those. And if it's any good, I'll get myself a stocking because I do like doing things like that. The other thing is I had to get myself some new scales. So I've done that because I'm going to be doing the resin and I need it to be um, spot on. So this is for the resin that I'll be doing. I said I'll be doing some resin jewellery and things like... Oops, put that paper back. You know, resin jewellery. I'm going to be doing some mats and some coasters and things like that. I'm going to take you through the process of how to do that. And I bought the wicks because I am going to be making some candles. So I got the wicks for the candles. They go in the bottom, obviously. And then you cut them to size. And I bought the wax to go in the candles as well. And I can put scent in them or whatever I want to do with them. So that's that. I will be taking you through that process as well. When I finish the shack, you know, because I've got to get the shack done. Uh, the other thing was some more mould came in. Which was this one? Oh, it's like a little cheese cutter. You know, like you can make it into a cheese cutter plate. And then that one is the... Um, that's the cheese platter, actually. It's got the uh, mark there. That's the cheese platter. So, and I've got a box full of them, you know, to do. The other thing is, uh, my sister wanted me, and she does want me still to do it, the carousel. So I've got the mini horses. I've got the mini turntable. The jewellery she picked was there. The bits that I cut off my um, moustache. So the turntable came, so that's another project that I've got to do when I've done the shack and some other bits and pieces. Some flowers that I can take off the heads to go in the moulds. I'm going to sit down now. <laughs> right, let me just, that's some tools, that's tools. Let me just show you their tools sort of thing. Right, I got the uh, liquid polymer clay for gluing bits and pieces together when I'm doing them. You know, when I'm making uh, some polymer clay stuff, you remember I bought that full box of polymer clay. And since I was poorly, I don't know where the hell I put it. <laughs> it's somewhere. Do you remember I bought all of these as well for the um, acrylic? 
So I've got this for the polymer clay project, projects and the flowers are for the um, acrylic. Then these came, which I'm going to show you because I'm going to do another project when I've done this one for Jane. I'm going to, I've, I've spotted something online, I'm thinking I want to have a go at that. And so I bought these. Now, that's for the, the Fimo clay, you know, to do with the liquid polymer clay. So that's the glue that holds that together when I'm making something. Um, and then I bought these because I'm going to be doing a, a scene. And I thought, you know, these all came together. I had to buy them as one. So that's great because up on the ice pack will be a load of penguins. But under the resin, which is what I'm going to be doing, like the sea, so under the sea, I will have... Um, let me just see other things swimming about but you will be able to see it because I'm going to be doing an underwater scene see like that so I had to invest in some bits and pieces uh, these all came together so let's have a look see what we've got here um, I won't use them all in one but one scene now I've got things for other scenes but the sharks and that might go in one scene and they've got a fish I'm going to make my own fish out of the polymer clay, uh, the beluga is it? B beluga whale? I think that's what you call that one. A diver, obviously, because we're going to want to have a diver in. And then obviously when I ordered these, I didn't know they were this small. <laughs> but that's not, not a problem because I'm going to be doing like, um, I've got a jar, like one of these. So you can see. So I'm going to be doing a, si a scene in there, in one of those and yeah i'm quite looking forward to it because they're just uh, you don't get to use a lot of uh, acrylic there I, I don't want to use a lot because um i don't you know at the end of the day i don't want to use everything i've got so i'm only going to be doing small projects and then i got a little that's a little bit smaller than what i thought it was going to be but it'll go with these look see and then we've got a hammerhead. So yeah, so there's those for a water scene that I'm going to under the sea, Arctic scene. The other thing, oh, there's another one here. Oh, it's a smaller one. So they'll all go in the same project in the glass. Another little killer whale. Uh, the other thing is these. Now I first bought this one which is um where the, let me just get the glue at uh, the uh, thing it's um arts and crafts resin uv hard resin so i bought this remember i bought two bottles and one of the bottles had opened and spilled everywhere but i've still got this and in order to use that i needed one of these which is the uv um, you just open them up, plug that into your computer or whatever, uh, I can plug it in here, uh, and then that lights up, it's a UV light, use this to whatever you want to do, like if I'm making jewellery pendants or whatever, and then you stand it underneath, and then I thought to myself, when it came, I thought, well it's really too small for what I need, so I bought a bigger one, and this is the nail art one. You know what you do your nails with? Like that. So I've got two now. <laughs> but I probably use them, so, you know. So that's um, all those sort of things. There's the fine mold. Like I said, this is natural um, flesh colour. I need to find where I've put that tub with everything in it. It's all right, I found it. So like I say, we've got a lot of projects to do. And I'm not sure if this will fit in here. Probably not. I'm not sure. Take the smaller ones out, maybe. I 
but yeah that's it and I will be doing lots of projects with those I want to make uh, pendants charms and whatnot so I will be trying it <laughs> I will I'm gonna put that in there I think just to keep all of that together I mean that was only a children's one but it's got plenty in for what I need like that and then like I said there was this one that's really oops that was the one that leaked so there's still some in it so that's that now I put all that to one side so I know where it is the other things are the tools that I've managed to get so I ordered these which are for the polymer clay I know they've got some tools in there and I do have several tools myself but I wanted to make sure I had if I'm going to start doing stuff like that the proper tools to work with and you know you've pushers shovers pat you know do patterns with your brushes that you can use uh, when you're touching um polymer clay making a surface you know like a textured surface so we have lots of tools spikes different spikes scrapers chiselers knives yeah lots and lots of different things screwdriver tool you know to do put your uh, hooks in the end that's what i need to get is hooks just thought of that scraper so yeah i wanted to get the proper tools to use so i managed to do that and it's just looking around the internet for uh, polymer clay tools and i happened to come across a site and got them please 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 continue to go to the shop and if you, and when you can you know we've got over 500 items for sale i don't advertise anywhere else but here on my facebook page and um you know the more people can uh support us the better the longer these videos will keep going because because i don't do it like a normal shop what bit it pays for all the equipment i buy like all of this to, for me to be able to come and do some more videos you know and to be able to buy the products that I buy in order to do things to help and show you uh, you know how to videos so your if you can go to the shop you know and grab yourself a few bits and pieces if and when you can because we don't do um, the shop my shop I have to explain it for people who don't know and for those that do I'm, I'm really sorry that I have to uh, keep saying it now and again my shop is open to help other people craft and to help other people to afford to craft so it's not a shop where i'm earning you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds it's nothing like that um i don't earn that much from it and your support by you going to the shop and you buying a little bit here and there or sometimes you buy quite a bit some of you um it pays for all this equipment that i need to buy in order um to do these projects and in order to bring you uh, something to watch um to learn from to you know your enjoyment or whatever the reason it is that you come to my website now i appreciate i really do appreciate every single penny that people spend in my shop and i do give generously as well you know i always say to myself what's a meter what's a yard just cut it because i like that people get a good deal get a good bargain we don't sell crap and if i've bought a lacing that i don't like and it isn't what i would normally sell in my shop i tell you that on that order you know on that uh, description 
and I just I, I tell you exactly what's what I don't keep anything from you and, and then them goods if they're no good if they're not when I say they're no good if they're not my high standards and I, I do sell them on because somebody's got to use them I'm not going to throw them away because I'm not a waster but the prices reflect that Now, regarding the other goods, which are top quality that I sell, which is nearly 99.9% .9 of everything I sell, um, I keep my prices low to help you to be able to afford to come along, whether you're a beginner, an advanced uh, crafter or whatever, to buy some really nice things to craft with. When I'm back in the swing of things, the videos will be coming out left, right and centre um, as they used to, as they've always done. I do appreciate it when you do come along to the shop. Um, I know some people have gone and uh, some have come back. I appreciate it. And I think my videos portray who I really am. I help other people because I want to. I don't have to. I can bugger off and not come back again. I can take all my videos down and there'll be nothing for anybody to watch apart from everybody else's who have only got two or three hundred on maybe, if you're lucky. I've over 5,000 videos that you can watch from every genre and description that you can think of. You just have to type in what you're looking for. You can type in tool flowers, roses, flowers you just any description and you'll probably find something that i've done on what you're looking for but i do them free of charge i only have six videos online on my channel that you have to pay for and those six videos are, um, are like a backup that help uh, me keep this channel going and to keep all this stuff flowing because every time I use something I have to replenish that I had a full-time job <laughs> and I gave it up to do this so this is my only income personally my own income so you know at the end of the day please shop with us if you can you know you're going to get a good deal you know you're going to get a great bargain and you know you're going to get top quality because we don't sell crap simple as that and in order me to, for me to continue with these free tutorials, free ideas, free to hints and tips, we appreciate every single one of you that can shop with us. Because it's because of you that we're still here. Because if you don't, we're gone. That's how the ball rolls at the moment. That's how it is. You know, a government are making it extremely hard and difficult for small businesses. Um, I know they've been on uh, trying to stop me. Um, I know they've stopped friends of mine and they've they took uh, the channels down like they took my shop down. Uh, I know they did. I know who it was. I'm not stupid. And um, I won't give up without a fight. Because I won't. <laughs> I'm not a pushover and I'm not scared of people so um, I will be here till the very end until I can't do it anymore it'll either be ill health or they wipe me off completely simple so yes please do run along to the shop I am only here to help and uh, whether you're a beginner or not and we've been here since 2011, so that's 10 years. It's nearly coming up 11 years, actually. So we've lasted a lot longer than most people. We're still here. We're still going. And hopefully it will continue for a long time to come.
the other thing is is this because when you're making um pots and things like that uh, let me just see if i can show you quickly uh, let me do it with my uh, can i do it with that yeah i can i think sorry i'm just going to show you quickly while i'm doing this Oh, let's have a look. I have to open that now. Make a pot like if I was making a, a pan set or a, I don't know, what can I make? Like that. So I'm going to take that, flatten it, like that, peel it off. Just trim it so we've got that and I just want to trim off the end I'm going to start there like that. Now we're going to need about that much. Maybe not as much. Like that. I can use the tools and things like that to uh, straighten that off. But you can make your own mugs and things like that. I mean, I'm just basically showing you to use these little wooden tools and you can make yourself as many things as you need. So that's just really quick uh, way to use them. Where's my... No, I'm going to put it in here, I think. I need a little uh, container to put bits in. But... That's what I was talking about. And you can use these to make pots and pans, mugs, jugs and all sorts. And just by doing it like that. I know mine's not straight, but... Uh, Once that's gone into the oven, it'll be fine. And you can sand it down. So once it's cooked, you just sand them down, the edges, okay? So that's that, I'll just show you that. So you can buy those little figures which will do the job that you need to make your pots and pans anyway. So that's that. Now I also not only bought just the small one, I bought a large one as well. So that's those two. And then finally, I'm going to put that there because I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to Finally, oh, the surfer. I, I bought the surfer for the shack and it was supposed to be a cake topper and when it came, it's just too small. It really is too small. But we could, I'm not sure, I can use it um, like putting it on maybe the roof of the shack. I don't want to waste it. So that will go on there. And we could use it as a toy. I don't know yet. These also came. I did make one, yes, but um, I found a place cheap enough to buy them. So we got the fishing net to go there, which is perfect size for it. The round one as well. And that. So I wanted to see how it was made because then I can make them. I mean, mine was all right, but I wanted to see how it was done. And it does come undone like that. So Jane, I am, um, you know, it's all 
part and parcel of it, I'm afraid. Oops. I need to get a fish on the end of that, I think, when I put that on. Yeah, and that turns. I just thought it were brill. So there's that one. And they can go back in there, I think. I don't want to lose them. Like that. So that's for the shack. And then, uh, what were these? Oh, yeah, I managed to get some more bottles, Jane. You know, for the shack or the beach. Put. I was thinking about putting a couple in the water. You know, floating about in the water to keep them uh, tied to string to keep them cool. It was just to make it more interesting. Things to look at. When you're doing a scene, you need to keep looking and seeing new things. So that's why I bought these. And I just saw a couple at the shack as well. And, um, on the table, maybe. Anyway, so I bought those. So that's that. Oh, there's some more bits and pieces in here. Right, hang on. Yeah, these came. Well, I've been poorly. It's been great. I've been getting parcels, but... <laughs> not able to do anything with them. So, I'm not saying they're going to be for the one, the shack. Uh, I might put one in the shack area somewhere. Or floating about in the water. Because we're going to do some water made from resin. But I think what I'm really going to do is use one for the scene. That I'm going to do. Okay. So that's that. I did send for this little boat. I knew it was small, this one. But I'm thinking about, um, you know, kids playing in the water and whatever. So it can be like a little... It might not. I might use it for a different scene. We'll see. And then this is the uh, screwdriver set that I sent for uh, when you're doing jewellery so it's only to do with the polymer clay yeah so it's the 25 piece high speed steel mini drill uh, bit set so some of them are really tiny but I do have small screwdrivers that but I didn't have one this size so it's the mini one so that I can you know drill um, in the pendants and things like that so I've got all of these I'm not sure how you get into it. That's it. So if I want to use, say, that one, you just unscrew that. Pop that in. Like that. And there you go. And you can put the hooks in your jewellery and things like that. I did need one and I'm glad I got it. It was a lovely set when it came. Really nice. So I'm thrilled at that. I'm going to have to get myself a little box to keep it in. And some spare drill bits. So, that's everything. Um, I'm now going to load this film up Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll speak to you all soon. I'm going to have a cook now. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.